how you doing? Old man with the boat here. Well, I was hoping to get out today and go a little bit further out and check out some stuff, but it's pretty windy and the sea, she's angry today and I'm by myself and I just don't feel like dealing with the chop and getting blown all over the place. So I'm gonna slow it down. I'm gonna throw some plastics today and see what we can get. Um, that's a beautiful day here in Florida. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Again, please uh, subscribe, like, comment. I mean, I've been hearing your comments. In fact, the last short I put out, uh, quite a few guys told me to get a new scale. So, not sure if they were trolling me, but the last four fish I caught have been exactly three pounds, 10, 12 ounces, somewhere around there. So, I'm not, I'm not big on coincidence, so I went ahead and bought me a nice scale. Hopefully, I get to break that out and show you that today. Just a little rascal, but it's better than nothing. Get me on the board here. Oh, manatee. The little ones I can catch. The big ones, not so much. How you doing? Whew, taking a break. My whole body hurts. So my wife and I recently purchased a, like a home gym. It's called an Oxfit. Um, fantastic device. Well, Last night, I did a software update on that device. And the software update added what they call Oxfit AI. This AI puts you through a series of exercises. It automatically adjusts the weight depending on how well you're doing or how pitiful you're doing. <clears throat> and then you can select, you know, I want to get leaner, I want to get stronger, I want to, all of these things. And that will, based on this information that it gleaned from you exercising, what it learned from you, it will set up um, your own little personal trainer kind of classes. Um, it's actually awesome. Um, I think the, the idea behind it is, is pretty phenomenal. Lately, I've been doing some studying on my own, trying to learn a little bit about machine learning, uh, the math behind machine learning. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, just kind of get a better understanding of AI uh, and neural networks and anyway. So as I'm pondering the pain that I'm in from, from my experience with AI last night, I started to think about bass fishing and the impact AI is going to have on bass fishing. You see right now, there's a hot debate about forward-facing sonar. Is it cheating? Is it not cheating? You know, because uh, you, you see it, you can use it, you can see where the fish are, right? Let me tell you something, man. It, it, AI is going to change everything. Uh, you're hearing it from me. I'm telling you, within the next 10 years, it's going to change everything. Not only is your forward-facing sonar going to be able to pick out fish, it's going to tell you what kind of fish they are. Um, moreover, you're going to be able to just put in simple data like, you know, I, this is how much gas I have, this is the boat I have, this is the motor I have, this is the, you know, the weather today, where I am. And it'll tell you on, based on your body of water where the best chances are you're going to find bass. 
Moreover, as more and more people go out and more data is collected, they'll probably share that data and pinpoint exactly where the bass are. Um, dude, it's gonna be really, really interesting how this is implemented and, and the guardrails are the rules that are gonna be in place, not just, excuse me, not just for conservation, but for tournament play. Um, I mean, I can see this going south quickly. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting debate to have. I mean, I, I for one, am, I'm a big proponent of AI. Um, I think AI is going to do wondrous things. You know, we already see like um, automatic driving, um, all of that stuff, um, drones, um, all of these things, medical, medicine, just going in, taking your vitals, uh, pinpointing and showing what you're at risk for doing your lab work and being able to run that through AI and and figure out what's wrong with you much quicker and much more efficiently than a than a than a doctor can um, anyway there's there's a lot of applications I think are beneficial um, when it comes to AI but unfortunately as we begin this this journey down this road I think we need to have a discussion you know how is it going to impact the sport of of bass fishing particularly um what are your thoughts on it i i'd like to have a discussion man i'd like to hear your comments because i honestly think that now this is coming and this is coming sooner than later you know having having just a, a an app on your phone that you can you can push a button that says okay you know here's the best places to go and get bass you know, you, you still got to go out there. You got to find lures. You got to do this. You got to do that. No, we're talking about like pinpoint location, wave points, GPS locations of where these bass will be, where they were spotted last, um, what lures you need to use, the presentation you need to use, the color of the lures, uh, the temperature of the water, the temperature outside. I mean, all, all of these things are going to be just flooding, just so much data. And the way AI works is it takes this data, it consumes this data, and it makes corrections. That's what they call learning. So it takes whatever error it made and injects it into the next cycle, the next simulation. And then it learns from that, adjusts again, and the error gets smaller and smaller and smaller to where it becomes very precise. Um, uh, dude, I, I can tell you. Just sitting here on the boat, I can I can think of a thousand different ways that AI could be utilized um, to help to help fishing, to make it so it's not even a sport and not even a challenge really. So anyway, um, I think I think this this discussion needs to happen now rather than after the fact. And I'm just curious anyway. I'm just curious what your thoughts are. So again. Uh, it's just me sitting out here thinking, but uh, I'd like to know what your guys' th thoughts are on this. You know, do you think it's something that that's going to happen? Do you think I'm way out in left field? You know, a, a conspiracy theorist or whatever. You know, I'm pretty sure within the next ten years we're going to see it. But anyway, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, old man out. Stay safe. Bye.